in today's video, I wanted to talk about something that happened a couple of months ago and it was on the news here and there was so many stupid uh, things that popped up about it on the news that they were trying to tell us uh, why this particular thing uh, was blown up or exploded and I personally did not know that this thing actually existed until I saw it on the news here. And this thing that I'm going to be talking about today is the Georgia Guidestones, which is also known as the Ten Commandments of Satan. The government tried to pass it off as uh, a lightning bolt had hit these Guidestones for the reason why it exploded. But apparently there was no thunderstorms that night. And you can clearly see someone on the security cameras running out of frame before the explosion happened. Now I'll rewind and I will tell you if you're not too familiar with the Georgia Guidestones, I will tell you what the Georgia Guidestones are. The Guidestones were assembled in 1980 in Albert County, Georgia in the USA. And the monument stood nearly six meters tall and weighed 107,840 kilograms because the six slabs were made out of granite. The creator of the monument wanted it to serve as a guide to getting humanity up and running in the time of a social, nuclear and economic fall of the world. So the creator of the monument went by the alias Robert C. Christian, and apparently this was not his real name. And he was commissioned by a small group of people that wanted to stay anonymous to create this structure. Christian said that the monument would serve as a compass, calendar, clock, and would withstand a catastrophic event on earth to help humanity afterwards. The monument dubbed as the American Stonehenge was later transferred and I'm talking about the ownership, was transferred to Albert County from Christian. And then the county put a barbed wire fence around the erected monument to keep the cattle out of the area where the monument was. In 2008, the monument was graffitied with slogans such as Death to the New World Order and I am Isis, the Goddess of Love. Then in 2014, security cameras were installed to catch the frequent vandalism. The guidestones were labelled satanic and caused a lot of controversy since its erection. Now you're probably wondering, what is written or inscribed on these granite tablets? I will list now what was on the tablets that caused such a debate and conspiracy. Number one, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Number two, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. Number three, unite humanity with a living new language. Number four, rule passion, faith, tradition and all things with tempered reason. Number five, protect people and the nations with fair laws and just courts. Six, let all nations rule internally, solving external disputes in a world court. Number seven, avoid petty laws and useless officials. Number eight, balance personal rights with social duties. Number nine, prize truth beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. And 10, be not a cancer on the earth, leave room for nature, leave room for nature. This was written in English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindu, Hebrew, Arabic, Sanskrit, traditional Chinese and Russian. There was also an alleged time capsule buried under the monument, including blank stones for adding or recording data. But when the monument was taken down, there was no evidence of a time capsule. And if there was a time capsule, apparently there was no date written on the granite tablets for 
when it should be opened. Apparently, that was just a blank spot. On the 6th of July 2022, around 4 a.m., a person can be seen running into the distance to the monument, drop something at one of the tablets, and then seen running off out of the security camera's frame. Then shortly after, an explosion happened that destroyed part of the monument. Another security camera caught a silver sedan driving off quickly. They are now investigating the destruction. The very same day after the investigators have done their investigating, a bulldozer was brought in to completely dismantle the monument after quotes to repair it would be in the hundreds of thousands and the county didn't think that this was worth it so they removed it so it was no longer existing and was no longer a tourist attraction because this monument apparently brought in quite a few tourists every year because people wanted to witness this particular granite structure. Now, um, a lot of people are also saying to that how everything sort of went down straight after the next day with it being knocked out over and all that. Uh, it was too soon, so they reckon that this was very much planned. This was part of uh, removing this particular structure. And yeah, they said everything happened too quickly, like the quoting system, like all this should have happened. Like we, we all know what governments are like. We all know that they take a while to process stuff. Um, I cannot see uh, everything being processed the next day. Um, for its, you know, demolish and yeah, all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, that, <laughs> that to me is a little bit sus. So now I am going to read you the conspiracy theories floating around about the um, Georgia Guidestones over the years since it was built. It was labeled the commandments of the Antichrist as it was a satanic ritualistic description of what should happen to the world not just on a world disaster level. Now, people think that this guidestone was a setting for COVID and is basically what is happening right now with the COVID pandemic. Robert C. Christian belonged to the Luciferian secret society that was linked to the New World Order and the monument was for devil worshipping. But no one could prove this. But he did say in 1979 that he was part of a small group of loyal Americans which yeah he was obviously part of something and I think it was like either an elite sort of uh, group or something like maybe the Freemasons or the Illuminati something like that that's what I'm thinking the monument was destroyed by none other than God himself Apparently, God sent a bolt down to blow it up. Okay, so why would he wait this long then? If, if it was God, why didn't he do it not long after it was erected? That makes no sense. Plus, we have video evidence of someone running across the screen, putting something at one of the granite tablets and then running back. Another silly conspiracy theory as well. I, I sort of do not think this is uh, a plausible one is the hadron collider was the cause of the destruction and uh yeah that that is uh, all that i could find on that particular conspiracy theory there was no elaboration on that it's just that the hadron collider caused the explosion and caused the destruction of the monument okay it's alleged that Republic Senator Candace Taylor may have had ties to the person who destroyed it because in her campaign that was not successful at all in being elected governor of Georgia, she said that she, if she was elected, she will bring down the monument. This is alleged, so don't come for me. <laughs> this is just hearsay, you know. Conspiracy theorist Jay Weedner said that the alias R.C. Christian stood for the Rose Cross Christian or Christian Rosencruz, who was the founder of the Rosicrucian order. Now, the Ro Rosicrucianism 
is a spiritual movement that arose in the 17th century in Europe and was built on the truths of the past history. Members of the cult believe that they hold the secret wisdom that is handed down to them from ancient times and metaphysical laws that govern the universe. Now this cult also thinks that they are the elite and their teachings are to be hidden from the masses. So, hmm, plausible, maybe. Because it is a bit weird that that guy, Robert C. Christian, used that name and apparently it was known that that was not his name at all. So the illustration that I decided to do today for uh, tying in with the Georgia Guidestone explosion, I sort of went with, um, I don't know, the, the first sort of thing that sort of popped into my mind when I thought of this particular um, event was of someone on like an apocalyptic kind of horse <laughs> and someone who like is riding the horse and his basically sort of representing humanity and has had enough of the bullshit that the elite and the government and all that is putting upon us and I can honestly see why this particular monument was destroyed because um, yeah some of the stuff on the tablets is fine but a lot of the other stuff is not um, like who was this guy and who was this group to tell humanity um, who, why why these particular rules um, and these particular numbers like in the 500 million um, to keep the population under that like who was he to tell us um, what to do like that's what I mean I don't know who this bloke was or who this group was that represented him but I don't know, I, I feel as though this was a monument that probably should never have gone up. I don't know. That That's just my personal opinion and I do think that does have links to um, the elite and, and potentially government but mainly the elite because we all know the elite runs the government. So that's why I sort of did this, um, you know, this person on a horse, on, the, on a demonic um, apocalyptic horse. Um, stabbing an elite person on the ground who has profited like just these people who are profiting from everything and um, you know just looking down upon us on us normal people in society uh, which if it wasn't for us they would never exist and um, I decided to do this creepy um, elite person um, who is crawling away, tra trying to crawl away after you know society. This this um, you know this chick on this horse is representing society and has had enough and is trying to put a stop to the money and the 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 control um, and the new world order because that's what the the rolled up scroll is in the. Um, in the hand of the creature on the ground it's the new world order and he's clutching onto that as tight as he can with his money uh trying to you know savor any bit of of that um that he can to try and um you know not let the reign of the elite fall yeah that's what my illustration was all about <laughs> what what do you think what do you, how, how did you feel about these particular guidestones? Did you know about them? Did you have a view on them? Is there anything else that you have heard about this that I didn't mention today? Is there anything that I missed? Um, honestly, like seriously put it down in the comments below because I love learning about all this sort of stuff and learning more stuff about the particular topics that I um, talk about because there is stuff that I can miss um, as much as like I research the shit out of everything that I do but sometimes I do miss stuff it's a shame that this thing represented such a you know sort of a potentially dark sort of meaning because um, it was it looked like it 
took a lot of work and you know that's a, it's a shame like that it was destroyed but it was bound to happen because of what's happening right now in the world and people are not happy with governments and the elite and people trying to control us and having a monument that is telling you what you should do in the times of a apocalyptic scenario that shit's going to get torn down uh, it's just what's going to happen because people at the moment are waking up and are pissed off so anyway i'll leave you with those thoughts um that's just my personal view that's all it is i'm just telling you how i feel about it um, and let me know how you feel about it um, because you know everyone's got their own views and that's what makes the world go around so yeah i am out of here hopefully you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye